Hey there, welcome to a tutorial with Android Studio. In this application, we're going to create a list of presidents and it'll be scrollable and it'll be editable. And so we're going to work with the recycler view. So if you're interested in working with the recycler view, follow along here. What this app is going to do is have a scrollable list of cards. Now, what do I mean by a card? So you can see that in this app, each item has three components. So we have a photo, a name, and a date. So an integer string and another picture. And so that is what I would consider a card. And so this will show you how to put that together and scroll through it using what's called a recycler view. Now, a recycler view has different types. You can have a compound version, like a card, versus a simple layout, which is just a single line of text. Now, the simple line of text is really quick and easy, but the more compound version, of course, is more complex. That's going to require us to use something called an adapter. An adapter is going to be how to make a class, such as president, fit together with the layout, the activity, or the screen. And so you can see that the adapter is to say, I'm going to take the properties like name, year, and photo and merge them together with their proper components on the screen. And so that's called a class to view adapter. Now here's what the application is going to look like when we're done. As you can see, I can scroll through the list and see a bunch of presidents. I can add one if I want, and I can type in his name, date, and then I paste in a URL from the internet, and that would create a new person. Now I can also sort this, so we're going to get into sorting where we can alphabetize it if we want to put Abraham first and then the rest of them, or if we want to sort them by year, we can get back to the original George Washington being first. And so when we click on somebody, we can also edit that person. So Thomas Jefferson, I could change his name if I wanted to, or change to a different photo. So that's what we're going for here. It's a lot of different things to make this recycler app work a, like a pretty good demonstration of a lot of things that are used in many applications. Now, when you work with an adapter, you're going to use it with lots of things in not just lists that you can scroll through, but for instance, a spinner or a drop-down list. You can have to have a, an adapter to make that work. So anytime you see a list of choices or things that you scroll through, you're going to need this. Another concept that you're going to see in this tutorial is the concept of a global variable in an application. So obviously we have a list of presidents that we're working with. And you can see on the left here, my list. It's just a list of objects. Now where am I going to save that? Well, what I want to do is have a central location in my application called a global variable. And so it's kind of a tricky thing that not most people need to do, but you're going to see it in this case. What this allows is the activity one to show the entire list of presidents and then activity two is to edit or show one president and both of them are going to share a common list of data. So we're not going to save this list in either one of these activities. We're going to make it a centrally globalized place. Now, some people would argue that if you're going to use a globalized storage location, then you should probably set up a database such as SQLite. And so then you would be able to share data with that database directly to the activity. And activity two could also update or read from that database. So if you want to know how to use SQLite as a database tool, I have a video for that. So you can see the uh, link in the, up, to, up on top and in the description. But for right now, we're going to use what's called a global variable because it's just um, a quick way to do it. Now, the application is also going to be able to sort. And so we're going to implement a, a menu where you can click on the top right corner of the screen and choose one of the options. Then we're going to have to be able to do some Java programming to sort a list. That's not just Android, that's about sorting in general, and then updating the list so that way it's in a different order than it was before. Each item is going to have a click listener. So if I click on Abraham Lincoln's face, I will bring up the uh, items to say, I want to edit Abraham Lincoln's details. So that's what the application is ahead of us. I'm going to split it up into pieces. So that way, uh, if you're interested in just one of these concepts, you can see those. Or if you follow it from beginning to end sequentially, you'll have the app as you see it right here. So let's get started with Android Studio building our Recycler View app. My name is Shad Sluter, and I'm a professor of uh, software development and computer science. So if you're interested in becoming a software developer and you'd like to kind of watch what's going on in my classroom, please subscribe here and make sure you click the bell so you're updated whenever there is a new lesson that we're doing in class. 
So welcome aboard and let's get started with some Android development.